Okay folks, just a quick video of the 64 to 1 Anon. So I've got a mounted in an inverted L. It's not quite, the wire actually slopes down a little bit so it's not, it's not ideal. Approximately 30 feet of coax. And that's 40 metres. So you can see the dip is 1.46 at 7.080. Um, so... Bottom of the band, 1.52 Top of the band, 1.6 Nothing wrong with that, going at 20 metres Hold the band well below 1.5 to 1 15 metres Actually, zoom out with that. There you go. Good enough. And ten meters. So ten meters is obviously quite big, but you can see that's that's more than enough. Yeah, we're going to need on 10 meters. Now, I've got the antenna set up here as a uh, inverted V this time, so it's up about six feet up a tree, up to the pole, and down again. You can see the orange peg over here for the other end, but there's about a um, eight meter length of um, paracord, so the, the tip is um, quite high up there. So let's do a quick sweep here. So if we look at 40 meters, now remember I've not altered the length of the wire from the inverted L, but you can see the SWR is um, a lot lower, and I've, I've tend to find that, um, that that's the case. But obviously you'd need to cut a bit off the wire. I've got a 14 meters. Again, you could actually just about live with that, but yeah, it's it's too long. Again, 15 metres is the same, but still well within, and 10 metres. So, a couple of different configurations there, an inverted, an inverted L or almost, or an inverted V, it's your choice. But whatever configuration you have it, you know, bear in mind that the antenna will behave differently and you'll probably need to trim your wire accordingly.